Oh, thank you, Matthew Daniels. Thank you, Daniel Glover. Yeah, everyone's being so nice. Couch slippers. Missed you too. How'd the synth transformation happen? I don't know. We just, we just didn't, we stopped doing what we were doing. Yeah, we bought one. <laughs> <laughs> what for? Uh, we're in Bloomington, Indiana, right outside of Bloomington. Yeah, we're visiting some, uh, some of the band out here to celebrate for the day. Mm-hmm. We are coming to Denmark. We're coming to Aarhus and Copenhagen. I think it was just announced like a couple minutes ago. Mm -hmm. The album's coming out September 16th. <laughs> AJ. Thanks, AJ. AJ, you got Picking it. Picking up on, on uh, tour oh, Australia, whoa. Louisiana. That little I was counting on you. Gosh darn. Yeah, that was a fun sure. move. Also, uh, y'all can, I think they made it so you can call in if you want, and we can chat on the phone or something, but there it is, fan line. Fan line is open. You crack one open? No, it's not in the morning, but <laughs> we will later. We're 30 years old. <laughs> we lost a little bit of that it's energy, way, maybe. It's way too early to crack <laughs> open a cold one. From Thailand. That's tight. Thank you. This is really uh, tame iced coffee. Not strong. We miss Portugal. We had a great show there. <laughs> hello hey hello hello hey what's up guys what's going on i'm Who's super this? i just want to say i'm super glad you all uh saw the song it's awesome but uh my main question was just like i know some artists when they're making a record kind of have like they don't feel the mission statement when they're going about things. Like, was there any like mantra you guys kind of had producing this new record? It was just no rules, really. Um, gotcha. It, you know, it was like pretty clear that we had made the first two records under the same guidelines. Um, mm -hmm. And I think we, we just knew that we like didn't want to use those guidelines at all and we just wanted to make exactly exactly um what we wanted to hear pretty much um so awesome. there's a lot it's a really it's a really diverse and colorful record all right awesome thank you <laughs> yeah sorry what's your name Whitney 2022. Uh, we are bringing a full six piece band on tour with two drum sets. <laughs> we would love to do a tour in Southeast Asia. Um, not with Kevin Morby, though. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Even though we love him. We love him, but we also, you know, hate that dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charles' dog. His name is Potlid. He's not allowed outside, though, because he's a runner. 
Um, the record, there's synths on every song, but it's not like, it doesn't sound like a cold electronic record or anything. It's like still sounds pretty warm all over the place. Uh, there's going to be a new member of the band named Colin, um, who plays drums as well. Oh, also to be clear, nothing's wrong with Kevin Morby. We're just kidding. Yeah. We, we, we just joke around. We like love that. We yeah. love Kevin. <laughs> Any dates in the Northeast? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, That's thanks, bad. Colby. Yeah, dude. Damn. Sounds like you guys had a fun night last night. You couldn't do cold even if you tried. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> we would love to come to Poland. I don't think we are. Um, yes, Colin Kroom. with Western. I am excited for Breath of the Wild too. Hello. Oh, hello. Hey, I just wanted to say uh, lots of love from Minneapolis, guys. Oh, hell nice. yeah. That's like one of the first stops uh, <laughs> our next door. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah, I got a bunch of friends here who Love listening to you guys, and I think we're planning on coming next time you guys are around. Hell yeah. Nice. We appreciate it. Yeah, that's, that's all I got. Love you guys. Have a excited about yeah. the new song and everything. Keep it up. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Very fun. Have a good day. Would, would you rather have $2,000 or 1 million scorpions? What's the resale value on a scorpion? You could you could figure out how to sell the scorpion. <laughs> Probably the scorpions. And you know, are we allowed to sell the scorpions, or is this just like a? Ziad is definitely going to be on the tour. What do you think of country? Do you like the new sound? Same chill <laughs> vibe. Starfucker <laughs> dance party vibe. Uh both we're definitely going to play new songs and old songs um it'll be different it'll be different but i think we're just really excited to do it we do i want to have strings at certain shows as well they usually are um, expensive I think I kind of want NBA Finals. I think I kind of want the Warriors to win, right? Both storylines are good. I'm a Marcus Smart fan, so mm -hmm. I don't know. That's my only horse in the race on the Celtics. I just think the Warriors play a beautiful style of basketball, even though they're you're kind of a front runner for thinking that. Um, Sorry, trying to catch a love you, Will Church. By the way, excited to see you. Do you... we live in Ukrainian village now? Favorite U.S. city to perform in? What's the uh... Chicago? It's easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the energy of saying the Bulls are going to win next year. Need to put that out there into the world. Yeah. You're probably right that the Warriors and their fans are not a vibe. But also, Boston fans are worse, maybe. I don't know. Boston fans yeah. are terrible. Sorry. Boston's I mean, like, right up there with in Philly. The stadium, they, they talk a bunch of shit. I would love to go to a game in Boston, though, actually. Marcus is daddy. That's, <laughs> that's good. Marcus is daddy. <laughs> he shoots too much, though. Are we entering a new era of Whitney? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, we are. 
it's a deep it's a deep one though it's a good one it's a big one um, keep your eyes peeled i guess there's gonna be a bunch of shows announced today so just look out for it i guess hello hi how's it going uh you guys great great how are you guys uh doing well just kind of waking up you know yeah me too me too um i just wanted to call uh, you guys are great uh you guys are actually the reason i'm majoring in music oh, oh fuck yeah that's I, thank you i mean that's a huge compliment no thank um, you guys you guys are so inspirational what's your main instrument uh trumpet oh nice, nice. um Will our trumpet player will be bringing um, an electronic valve um, and there's it's on like a lot of the songs on the record. Oh word, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, how Hi. old are you? Talk to you guys. Oh, I'm uh, I'm nineteen. Nineteen? Were you were you going to where like where where in the country are you going to school? If in this country, uh, North Texas University. Oh, North nice. Texas. Damn. Well, that's very sick. I'm excited <laughs> for you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Looking forward to the album. Yeah. Thanks, man. Sorry, we just got the dog. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pot lid, baby. Is a We're back. Do y'all live in Chicago, right? Yes. But we're in Bloomington. I think it's on Spotify right now. It should be. It just it just showed up on Spotify. We'll be back at Albert Hall, Richard. Thanks, yeah. Looking forward to it. Flanger on drums. There's a bunch of stuff on the drums. Damn, thank you, Matthew Daniels. We're, uh, so excited to release this album. I don't know. We're definitely gonna play Texas. Are we not playing Texas on? No, it's not. Tour? We'll yeah, we'll, we'll be there. Um, the record is a big, well-rounded piece of work with songs that sound different. Each song has its own kind of sound, but it is overall it's a lot it's a lot less lo-fi and a lot brighter. Biggest influence sonically for the album: Outcast and Gwen Stefani. <laughs> <laughs> 
kind of. Justin Timberlake and stuff. Timberland. Tim Justin Timberland. Justin Timberland. <laughs> Spark was checked out successfully. Oh, are you talking pre-orders, Rita? It's very sweet if you are. Favorite piece of gear? Probably o the OP-1. OP-1 was used the most. <laughs> Mellotron a bunch, honestly. Yeah. Mellotron. Piano. A lot of it was written on piano. Catch a Detroit or Chicago show? I don't know. Both. Maybe both. Yeah. There you go. We've never played the venue that we're playing in Detroit, but it looks pretty sick. What's up, Trevor? Thanks so much. I got heavy walls and I like to move when you guys pay me to hear. First Ave is the shit, Hunter. Absolutely. Great venue. Yeah. One time you were there, one a replica or a double of Prince's motorcycle was in the back. We all got to stare at it. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah, lots of Mellotron on the record. To the point where we tried to stop using the Mellotron. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were playing 10 songs on the fall tour. There's 12 songs on the record. So yeah. all of them are there except one, though. I think there's one that just we didn't record. We would love to do a Japan tour, and I think we're probably going to wind up booking one for next year. I hope it happens. <coughs> okay. Cool. Maybe a couple more minutes then. Yeah. I don't know how you pre-order the album in Japan. What's the, is it Tower Records? That's usually the vibe. How did you destroy the drums on this song? The drums sound specific. Um, <laughs> ah. You're welcome, Benny. You can use the bath, the backstage restroom anytime you want. I hope it doesn't smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In, it, in yeah, advance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coming, my parents live in Bend, Oregon. Um, so I'm coming back there. Uh, I'm guessing we'll play there at some point. It'd be fun if we could headline the um, Les Schwab Amphitheater, please. Main theme, the main theme overall on the record. There's lots. It's a it's a well-rounded theme. There's there's love. There's breakup. There is anxiety. There's death. Grief. Oh, thanks, Renee. I think Ziad's gonna gonna dye his hair as well. <laughs> upstate New York? I don't I don't think we have plans to do upstate New York right now. Well Well, yeah, we should it's been a good morning. We should get some coffee and get about our day. We have to drive back to Chicago. Yes, Ludwig Vista Lights on tour. Um, how did Spark come about? It's a good question. <laughs> I don't know, Megan. Um, we have to drive back to Chicago now. Yeah. And celebrate.
Uh, yes, pretty much, Jarrett. Hello, how's it going? What up, what up, guys? How you doing, Dave? How you doing, Julian? How you doing, Max? Doing well. How are you? Hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm, I'm doing good. I just actually got to work. Uh, <laughs> I work in uh, in Gary, Indiana, so I'm not too far from Chicago. But uh, uh, yeah. just wanted to ask real quick. Is I know uh, I saw you guys preview the album at Thalia Hall in uh, Chicago. Is it kind of all the same songs that you guys previewed when you were there? It's a lot of them. Okay. Okay. Well, then, to everybody listening, let me tell you, Will absolutely fucking killed it. Uh, <laughs> that man destroys. He's go he went crazy on the sound. So. Hell yeah. Um, Dude, but uh, yeah. yeah, I was, I'm super hyped for it. So. Oh, thanks. Okay. Oh, yeah. Is that a good thing or bad thing? <laughs> I couldn't really <laughs> tell. Wait, say that again? Never mind. Um, okay, no, no. It, it was a good thing. That's that's all I'm saying. Definitely good. <laughs> hell yeah. What's your name? Uh, my name is Jake. Nice. Nice to meet but you. Great to, uh, great to talk to you guys. I wish you well on the album. Hope you have a good tour. Yeah. I'm definitely at Hell least yeah. going to see you guys in Chicago. Right. Hell yeah. And then uh, I might even see you guys in Philly. I don't know, but we'll see <laughs> if I can time it up correctly. So, But uh, have a good rest of the day. Hope the album release goes well. I'm going to get that shit on vinyl. And uh, you guys are killing it. <laughs> Take it easy, guys.